front of me. Yeah. I signed your underwear. <laughs> yeah. I'll treasure it forever. You've been to a lot of my concerts and you travel for your work. That's right. I'm going to stay put for a while, though. To help save your life. Probably you could squeeze a session in right here. It's in between the department meeting and after your rounds. Um, it's pretty tight. You're afraid of me? This is ridiculous. Yes, you are. You're all left brain. Logical and detail-oriented. And safe. I mean, if you're going to find your inner Eli, you're going to have to access your right brain, which is non-linear, impetuous, and emotion-based. What? Well, you, uh, you're certainly talking my language. I am a neurosurgeon, after all. I'm sure you're brilliant. <laughs> but I would like to remind you, when the music goes in the air and rolls around the brain, it comes out through the hips. Yeah, well, we have a bigger problem than my dormant right hemisphere. At the moment, Eli is not agreeing to the surgery. Do you think that's his best chance? Yes, I do. Maybe I'll try to convince him. The way that I'm going to transform you into a rock star. Well, you know what? If anybody could do it, I believe you could. Huh. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Can I speak to you from here? Yeah. Something wrong? Mom, y you know how happy I am to see you. Yeah? And I think that it's great that you are, you know, throwing yourself into this project but at any minute you could get a call and have to go and save the world do you really think it's a good thing to make commitments that you may not be able to live up to well, if you're talking about Noah and Eli I promise you I've got that under control but if you're saying you want me to stick around permanently all you have to do is ask there you go Mr. I'd love to have a sweet little place here in Port Charles just to be close to you and then, you know, we can meet for lunch and I could be there if you ever needed me. I, listen, I know that you would sacrifice everything for me because I know how much you love me if I were to ask, which is why I'm not going to. I am not going to ask you to give up what makes you happy for me. I mean, at least not at this point in our lives. And then there's this other thing, this fine line between love and hovering, which you've been known to cross. Well, it's very difficult not to meddle in your business because you play everything so close to the chest. <laughs> I mean, you haven't even dropped me a hint about Patrick. Well, you caught me in his apartment. That should tell you something. Oh, give your mother a morsel, can't you? <laughs> good Lord. Uh, well, Patrick and I are in a good place. Yeah? Yeah, so let's not rock that boat. Are you too afraid to tell him how you feel? No. We're in love, and we tell each other all the time. We talk about the good things, and we acknowledge the bad stuff. Well, that's healthy. Mm hmm? What about marriage? I that's what people normally do when they're in love, eventually. All things being equal. Oh, wow. Children? <laughs> Since when are you eager to be a grandmother? Oh, I didn't think it through. <laughs> <laughs> no. Being a mom is my single greatest joy. I want you to experience that. But maybe not just yet. Yeah, oh, uh, Patrick and I will figure that out when the time comes. But, you know, I, I'm not going to tell him what he wants to hear and, and hope that he'll change his mind later. Good for you. Listen, Patrick is an amazing man, and I am crazy in love with him, so we are not the ones that need your help. Okay. Eli Love does. He has not agreed to do the surgery, and he's running out of time. So you can't put the surgery off any longer. I haven't heard you say I'll make a full recovery yet. I, I need to be able to still work. Look, Mr. Love, the only guarantee that I can give you is that without the surgery, you will not survive. No one can promise results with brain surgery. Hi. 
Sergeant Tree. How you doing? Uh, apparently I might be dying. Ah. Uh, Eli wants a promise that the surgery will leave him impaired. Yeah, that's the trouble with rock stars. They expect to get what they ask for. I was ashamed you're just not like the others, demanding white flowers in your dressing room and no red candies backstage. <laughs> I partial to my brain the way it is. Apparently your affection is misplaced. Your brain is vulnerable and it intends to harm you. And no matter how much you wish it so, you are, as Patrick so brilliantly put it, a time bomb. So just how selfish do you intend? I thought that we had settled this earlier. I told you that it is wrong of you to choose to die. You are going to break a lot of hearts. I got no kids, not married. Won't leave anybody behind. Well, I'm offended. You know, when you get up there and you accept those awards and you say, I would like to thank my fans, it seems like you don't really mean it. No, look, here's the problem, Eli. Because you have set up your life so you answer to no one. And now, you're going to die the same way? Oh, God, that is so sad. It is. I would like to stick around just to make sure that my gravestone didn't say she died lonely and alone. I've had my share of good times. No, I'm not talking about signing some woman's underwear. I mean, you're already a genius at writing about solitude and passion. What I want to hear is what you would say about deep abiding love. You would make me cry. I know it. If you want to keep me alive to make you cry. Yeah. I want you to grasp the possibilities. And, and when you're all well, fall in love. It doesn't have to be with me. And write and sing about it. You'll thank me. I promise. You know, for someone who doesn't know me very well, you sure take some liberties, sister. Oh, I know you better than you think. So is that a yes? Anna has to hold up her part of the bargain, all right? She's got to make sure that your old man rocks the house. Say, Eli owes you his life. You are the most persuasive, determined woman I've ever met. Oh. How come you think it's so adorable on her, but not so much on me? I don't know. Maybe it's your accent. <laughs> Thanks. Hey. You want to kiss me right now, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Too bad, Miss Steve could be lurking. Miss Steve can wait a turn. Really? Uh, that's terrible. I don't know her. <laughs> What are you smirking about? Uh, well, Anna convinced Eli to have the surgery, so that means spotlight's on you, old man. Oh, dear God. Oh. Wow. This is real? Well, I'm happy for Eli, but I think I'm going to have a heart attack. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. You'll be lovely. I mean, you almost looked the part. You need a little grooming. And the show's in two weeks, so you have time to prepare. Exactly. I mean, it's just that fundraising cocktail tomorrow. But you don't have to sing there. You just have to prove that you're the real deal, you know? Oh, uh, one thing. Eli is a really heavy drinker. I hope you can hold your liquor. 